previously on Rock of Love. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's do this. You want to see your little present? I need to see more. Like my little booty? Now that's the kind of gift the man wants to get under a tree. Amber may be one of the best kissers I've ever kissed. I started on the wrong foot with you because I almost let you go. It's interesting how fate works. No. I'm thinking we're gonna have an old school dance contest. If I can win the dance competition, Brett gives me a VIP pass. You can use these for anything, anywhere. At any time to steal him away from any situation. Our judges have made their decision. Destiny! Brooksy is like the greatest feeling ever. How can you stand here and lie? Please, it really pisses me off that Sarah is here on a dare. I you said that. Wait, you know? and wait, wait, wait. The There's shouting here, shouting there. Sarah, come down here, please. Your Torin's here. Personality has a lot to do with it at this point. At this stage, we don't know what Brett is looking for. So I'm a little nervous. I may be some that. of the most beautiful people in the house. I agree. We'll be that. going home soon because there's not much behind it. You think? It happened last year. I just need a second to make a connection with Brett. But I have a VIP pass, which I intend to use. Hey, ladies, can I get everyone to the living room, please? You, if you want to go ahead and read it, and yes. uh, see you in a little bit. Good morning, my sexy sirens. I know you're all sweet and classy, but I need a girl that's tough and sassy. One who's willing to push and shove, roll with the punches, and protect our love. Love, Brett. I don't know what this challenge is, but I really hope it's nothing to do with athleticness, because I don't have any. <laughs> and there's this big building, and when I walk in, there's a roller derby rink. Scary. Oh my god. How are you doing today? We enter the room and see a curved rink, and I'm thinking, oh no, this involves something with coordination. All right, here's the deal. One thing I am good at in life is I'm a good dad, and I'm looking for a girl who's got a mother bear instinct. So what I've done is I've designed a challenge that's gonna break you all up into three teams of four. Each team has just one responsibility, and that is to protect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the job is to protect little baby Brett. How cute was that? With the bandana and the glasses and the stroller, it was hilarious. The challenge has a very simple goal, to protect little baby Brett and get him around this roller derby track three times. But while your team is skating around here, there is gonna be another team of people who are gonna to try to stop you and hurt little baby Brett. Please welcome the one and only LA Derby Dolls with America's little sweetheart, Lacey Connor. What's up, King? Conniving slut Lacey is here. You know what? Don't be scared. I won't hurt you too bad as I'm oh. kicking your ass. If there is anything I can do in these skates, I hope I could skate over Lacey's face. These lovely ladies' job is to pummel little baby Brett's face and knock you out. Baby Brett is designed to measure trauma and damage. The team that has the least amount of damage to little baby Brett gets to go on a date or dates with me. My goal is to protect baby Brett at all costs so I can get another date with Brett. Over here in the blue team, Aubrey, Angelique, Christy Joe, and Ina. I'm very athletic and I'm super competitive. I used to um, speed skate, so I'm hoping that I will get the solo date. The second team is the red team, which is gonna be Jessica, Roxy, Peyton, and Amber. I haven't been on skate since I was a kid, so I don't know how I'm gonna do about this. And the third team is the pink team, Daisy, Megan, Destiny, Catherine. I like my team. Hopefully they can roller skate. I want all of you to get dressed, gear up, and get ready to give me your mother bear instincts. You're gonna get some training from the LA Derby Dolls, and then after they train you nicely, they're gonna harm you and baby Brett, okay? All right, are we ready to start the stroller derby challenge? All right, here, let's do it. Wait. Do you guys all have like skating experience? I rollerblade yeah. like every day. Can you skate well? I'm like mad skater. I can't believe I'm on the team with Daisy, 
Destiny and Megan. Like, those are the three I've talked to the least since I've been here. And now we need to talk strategy. Do you have children? Yeah. What do you think is safer than? I think definitely that you're going to be more stable with this. Is so or... Absolutely. But once we start talking strategy, it's like we bonded. Like, I am in shock. I just so too. Oh, oh, oh! and I'm looking around and these girls cannot skate. <laughs> so I think that we have a really good chance. Are we ready for stroller derby? Do you feel good? Do you feel ready? All right, I will turn it over now to referee Marlena DeBitch. All right, ladies, when you hear this, your team will start going when you hear, that means those girls are after your baby. After your team has completed its third lap, Little baby Brett will be heaved out of the cart and taken over to the good Dr. Franklin. We'll record all the results and let you know who won, all right? Pink team, you start. So when we were picked first, the blood just drained from our face. We were terrified. Lacey is crazy, and these LA Derby dolls look like they want to kill us. It's scary. The LA Derby dolls, they're mean, they're big and they're insane. As the challenge starts, I'm hoping that these girls are willing to take a beating for their man. girls beat our baby to a bloody pulp. I can't look at poor baby Brett. Be quiet! <laughs> Coming up. Our stroller looked like a semi-truck hit it. I better get a date. Oh! And later. So your teammate said that they were very disappointed. Christy Joe is talking trash about me. He's Turn her twist against, against you guys. They want to set the record straight. I just said they were talking one way to start to find true love, and that is with a stroller derby challenge. You got it, go! The team with the least amount of damage to little baby Brett <laughs> gets to go on a date with me, Big Brett. Lacey pulverized our baby. She punched that baby in the head so many times, I was ready to punch her in the head. Let's get back on the track, girl. Our stroller looked like a semi-truck hit it. It's bad. <laughs> The poor pink girls, there's pink everywhere. Those girls were hitting the floor like they were bouncy balls. It was like a pink massacre. <laughs> Let me take the Careful. After we finished, I was very glad that it was over. <laughs> it was the worst day of my life. But at least we looked hot. Ladies and gentlemen, the red team hit the starting line. Our team was me with Roxy, Peyton, and Amber. Our strategy is to let Peyton get as far ahead of the Derby Dolls as possible and for everybody else to just get in their way. <laughs> Those Derby Dolls, they're hauling ass, speeding around us like it's no big deal at all. I think that maybe we should have had a better strategy. No matter what happened, I had to hold on to the baby and protect baby Brett. She kissed the baby. <laughs> Peyton is determined to get that baby around the track, and she was literally willing to take a beating. It just made me want to breed. Best to stop them, but they're like mountains on skates. They're not going anywhere. Did she took a part of the baby? We 
One of the derby dolls, she puts the arm up and she shakes it a lot. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. Ready? You got just a little bit more to go. That was like a blow to my ego, but our baby survived, so I'm hopeful. <laughs> Blue team, let's start. It sucks because I'm a really good skater, and I'm with Aubrey, Ina, and Angelique, and they could not skate for <laughs> My only chance of winning this thing is if my teammates just fall. Fall straight and fall long. You can run, but you can't hide. Okay, I got this, and then I see this chick, the big one. I'm like, no! <laughs> oh, Prince baby! Oh, it's okay! Good job. How about a round of applause for Christy Joe? Although she's suffering a major concussion right now, please welcome the one and only Dr. Franklin for his results. Ladies, I have the stroller derby baby damage results here. Pink team, we have cerebral hemorrhage on your baby, massive shaking trauma, lacerated organs, and a probable spinal contusion. Uh, evaluating the injury sustained by this infant, I would not expect it to survive. Oh my God. I can't believe we killed our baby. Red team, uh, the baby has sustained a mild head trauma, moderate torso trauma, possible bruising of organs, obvious loss of limb. <laughs> I would expect this baby to survive, but it would never lead a normal life. Ours will never lead a normal life? Well, what arm did it lose? If he's a lefty, who's gonna care? Blue team, we have on the baby a very mild head trauma, mild bruising, moderate shaking trauma. I would expect after a few years of physical and mental therapy, the child would go on to lead a normal life, possibly with a <laughs> So clearly the blue team has sustained the least amount of damage. All he needs is counseling? Cool, we'll go together. <laughs> These girls should better be worried because when I'm gonna to win a debt with bread, I'm gonna so good, he's not gonna have to like look at everybody else when he's coming back. I wanna take Frenchie, Aubrey, and Ina on an awesome date tonight. I got something killer planned that's not painful. <laughs> and then tomorrow, I wanna take Christy Joe, your MVP, on a very personal private date. I deserve this date. Yes, I deserved it. No one else, me. <laughs> I'll see y'all at home. Rock on! Yo! You know, it's the type of thing you're thrown on a track and you do the best you can. I just wish it didn't come across as like I didn't do anything. I'm really bummed that we didn't win because now I don't get any kind of time with Brett. So it sucks. It's called VIP, woman. This is my you golden have, ticket. You have taken into the freaking chocolate right factory, here. man. Right here. I suck. Anything that I happens, I have a chance to explain myself. I do still have my VIP pass, but I was hoping I could win the challenge so that I could use that at a later time. Oh, man. I can only sit and wait to see what happens. Oh. Ah! Are we ready? Brad comes out, and of course, as usual, he looks hot. Shall we? Yes, on a date? Come on. But it didn't help. I was the mom who was pushing it. I was too, though. My, I killed my. Oh, I'm not a mom. I am a mom. I'm not a mom. But I am a mom, and I know how yeah. strollers work. So I have a hidden talent. I push strollers. I am a mom. And the other women do not. Catherine, she was a mom, like, but. But she couldn't skate. <laughs> Christy Joe makes a comment about how Catherine dropped the ball because she can't skate. But you know what? Like, I feel like we tried the best that we could, and I think we did a damn good job.
You're going to have such an awesome time tonight. We came out of the car. We were right in front of the dance club. And I was so excited because I'm a stripper, so this is my atmosphere. Hello, Ivan. How are you doing? Good to see you, buddy. Welcome, ladies. I'm Ivan Kane. Welcome to Ivan Kane's 40 News. Uh, we've closed down the place for you. Tonight's all about you. Really? I've got a great table all set for you. Come on in, Brett. A big catwalk, and it's burlesque. We're gonna do a little of this tonight. We're gonna have some fun, and then we're gonna get up there and dance. dance. This is this will be cool. We'll have good tunes playing, we'll have dancing going on. Yes. This is a perfect date for Brett to bring me on because I've been a trained dancer since I was seven years old. I can bring this. We're gonna have one of the 40 Deuce girls dance for you three ladies, and then we're gonna have you girls kind of show us what you can do as a 40 Deuce dancer up on stage. I mean, you may have a new girl here. Well, I'm definitely gonna be paying attention. So your teammates said that the maternal instincts in the skating didn't come through and they were very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, that's what they said. Oh, hell no, I couldn't have dropped the ball. I wasn't even pushing the stroller. I'm not gonna take the fall for my team. I can tell you that right now. Two times. Our burlesque dancer was sexy, and I mean sexy. This is awesome. Totally awesome. She would be not comfortable getting naked, but she's so sexy, she still looks sexy with the clothes on. She's not only beautiful, but that was like that was insane. Awesome. Awesome. Good job. Thank you. Wow. You ready? You I'm not okay to dance, I get completely naked, you know? <laughs> We're gonna do this. No, no. Of the the Listen, the she's in control right now. Tease. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you should have to tell me. So you have okay. to use your body to tease. Yeah, well, that, I really know how to do that, trust me. I'm about to find out these girls are ready to rock 40 Deuce. We are gonna partay. This is gonna be a good date. Coming up. She is sexy, and I mean sexy. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Then later. Oh, she's, that was that was? she's a backstabber. No, Stop talking. I have so much <laughs> Say it to my face. It's me against half of the house. Tonight, I'm going to take Angelique, Aubrey, and Ina on a little date. Woo! We're going to get loose, wet, and wild. It can't stop yet. It cannot stop yet. Are you ready? Show? Got foot on my Now it's my turn to get on stage and milk it to the bone. Ah, uh, Ina, my Ukrainian love tank. She sucks as a burlesque dancer, but she is sexy. Spicy meatball. You know what? I want to show you my sexy side. And I want to enjoy your sexy side. Okay, good. I'm going to rock this. I'm going to look the part. I'm all about it. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. You think that I would have been surprised, but I gotta tell you, my gut told me that Aubrey would be good at burlesque. I think I have a big advantage on this date. I want to go on stage, you know? I'm sure to write how I dance once at one time more. Looks like a clown. Brett acted like he liked it, but I was done. Oh my god! Oh, oh! Now Angelique's body is smoking hot, and I love her free spirit. 
But I'm thinking this girl is either just straight up hot, sexy exhibitionist or possibly a screw loose. That's hot. Brett is looking at me when I'm dancing. I definitely feel our sexual connection is really strong. I know he wants me so bad. Come on, round of applause. We're gonna have a little respect. Good job, Beth. Here, 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 here. Thank you. Do you know what you me? We have some rules at 40 dues. I'm sorry. And I have a cans 40 dues stalling. We don't get naked. I'm sorry, but I cannot keep my clothes on. Of course I'm gonna have to get naked. Look at me, I'm so hot. No nudity here whatsoever, whatsoever. I agree a thousand percent. Sorry. Hey, Brad. Yes. Did Dakota just give you a little uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, Angelique. She almost got the 40 do shut down. Game over. Thank you. I, I looked at my stroller. Uh, like every time. That was yeah, killer. Michael, I didn't have control of the stroller. How was I supposed to have maternal instincts? Christy Jo is talking trash about me. This pisses off Jessica and Megan, so they're wanting to go find Christy Jo to set the record straight. I'm just saying your teammate said this, and I'm sure my not teammate... teammates. You don't say her teammates, because I was a teammate. Okay, well, and I not you, that. but. You're a mom, that's the only thing I was saying. Christy Jo just manipulates situations. She's very deceptive. She'll take words and spin them, so we do not trust her anymore. So, you guys are missing huge drama. So basically, she was telling me that you guys were making me take the fall for our loss. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Yes. We were glad to have you on our team, so. No, what she was turn her against, against us. you guys. Ugh. I don't appreciate Christy Jo taking what I said about one of my teammates and twisting it, and that girl can just go to hell. Seems like you're like trying to like turn people against each other and like manipulate people. I can't hear her. And it just seems like you're kind of fake, and I just don't like that. Every Dude. time I've talked about you, I've always said she's so pretty. That's why you anymore. went straight to um, Kathy and said that we were I talking all joking That's around. You straight up lied to her. Who is joking And like, we're, we're, we're like trying to say that we were like talking So just you know stop talking I just so much if you have something to say about me, say it to my face. And worry yeah, right. if you got no makeup on, because this scares the out of me. I don't even want to look over there. It's scary. Please do. This isn't a horror show. <laughs> oh. I'm a little salty, but good. Listen, I'm a classy guy. Well, we can be classy or we can be trusty. Unity! Hi, baby. What's going on? Straight to the bar for one last good night drink. Yes, please. Let's Come go to the bar, girl. How you doing, baby? Oh, I have it's to go to the bathroom. Good. I get back in the house. The girls are all ready to party, and I'm fine with that. The big head's saying, let's do it. Stop it down. Stop. Oh, I'm ready to go change. change. Go change. Wait, wait. I'm not going. We get back from the date, and I go looking for Christy Joe, and she's in the bathroom crying. Christy, let me in. <laughs> no. I wish Christy Jo had more self-esteem because right now she's jumping into a ring of fire and if she can't take the heat, she's got to get out of the kitchen. They're like, the Megan comes upstairs and she's like, you're a freak show, you look like a freak show without makeup, blah, blah, like she's just... I think that some of the girls here are just vicious because Christy Jo is a solid threat. Carly, I'm sorry. Okay. I wish I could have gone on your date with you. So waking up this morning, I feel pretty good because I have my VIP pass that Brett said that I could use at any time, and I intend to use it. Ooh la la, Brett. <laughs> ladies, can I get everyone in the living room, please? Let's go, ladies. Once again, I have a note from Brett, and uh, if you'll go ahead and read that, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi. See ya. Christy Joe, at yesterday's challenge, you kicked ass skating. Today, we'll spend time at a date you're creating. To the rest of my girls, I must let you know, at tonight's elimination, two more will go. I am so excited to have a date that I get to set up for us, because finally, I get to talk to Brett. I wonder where you're going. We're just going to have a barbecue and hang out outside. Really? That's what I would do anyway. That's kind of a date that I'd like to have on a normal. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, like when you're just like hanging out, like you can really be you and not put on any like. Well, that's how you get front. to know somebody. Exactly, and that's why I wanted it to be mellow. So I'm preparing for my date, and I just really wanted Brett to get to know the real me. So I wanted to do a simple little barbecue, have some beers, hang out, just get to know each other, an intimate setting where it's just the two of us. Okay, listen. 
I'm gonna use my pass during the date. I'm gonna like give them a little bit of time. Yeah. And I'm gonna use my pass, and then I think you should write after me. And like give it to her like, like bam, bam. I'm gonna give them maybe, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or something. The girls are using their VIP passes on Christy Joe's date just to spite her. I don't think that I need to interrupt her date to prove that I'm better for him. He'll see that on my time. Awesome. We're gonna ruin her date. I'm eager to spend time with Brett because I want him to hear from me the type of person I am, not from them. I want him to see it for himself. Mm. So I'm like. <laughs> so today I'm really excited. I've got my one on one with Christy Joe. You are on the side. Would you like me to sit right here? <laughs> I like this girl a lot, but I want to see what she's going to bring from her world and see how well this date will go. Cheers. Thank you for an awesome meal. Are they there now? Yeah. How about I wait until they start eating? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how good it is because oh you can't God. eat certain things. And no, so tried. I'm actually so glad that we're having a date here, though. And I'll tell you why. You put your heart out there. It's obviously there's a chance of it going really great, which is what I live for. Really? Is no, or really. I wish you were good luck. Because it's like, it's hard. I mean, I've always put myself out there. That's the one thing I'm not good at. I'm right. not successful with the relationships. I think too much with my heart, and that's my problem. I learned that, like, with my with my other ex. Like, I just... You have two it, marriages. Yeah. I'm, I'm still going through my annulment right now. hi -o. I'm still legally married. Legally, legally married. married. Legally married. Christy Joe is still legally married. This may pose a little problem in our relationship. But the, gotcha. I filed the annulment papers. Um, well, first we had the restraining order. And then yeah. um, August 15th, I filed the annulment papers. I mean, it wasn't even like a month into the marriage. Excuse right, me. I got gotcha. Hi, Brett. I'd like Hello. to cash in my coupon right now. Are you sure you want to do it right now? At this exact moment? Yes. OK. Uh, Coming up. She's gonna do anything in her power to stop us from being together. Mission accomplished. I'm nice though. Do you think you can handle it? Then later. Tonight elimination, two more girls are going home. It's getting tougher as we narrow it down. I haven't had a date with Brett. I'm starting to freak out. Love hers. I'm not successful with the relationships. Excuse right, me. I gotcha. Hi, Brett. I'd like Hello. to cash in my coupon right now. At this exact moment? Yes. Are you sure you want to do it right now? I am. Okay, you're, um, awkward. I just cannot believe Destiny's gonna do this to me right now. I finally get my alone time, and I deserve this date. I worked for it. What was the rules of that again? You could do it? Anytime. Okay. It's kind of weird, though, don't you think, or... All right. Now, let me say so I'm not a, a liar. Yes, absolutely. We're just, yeah, that would be... Okay, do you want to go somewhere? I'll stay here. But I would like her to leave. Though. At first, I'm hoping there's going to be some kind of a naked cat fight take place right by the pool while I continue to eat. But instead, Destiny looks over at Christy Joe and says, get out. Kind of turn me on. You want to sit down? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Christy Joe is not happy at all. That makes me happy. <laughs> and I might even have a bite of Christy Joe's steak. You want to sit on me? Yes. All right. Wait, Destiny is straddling him. When I see her walk up to Brett and straddle him, I am just thinking, brilliant. So you gotta tell me stuff about you, come on. One thing I can relate to you on is the fact that I've been broken heart of myself. Right. I was married, we were gotcha. together for five years, and he cheated on me. Oh, good God. <laughs> the only reason why Destiny is doing this today is because of pure jealousy, and I think that she already sees that Brett's interested in me, and she's gonna do anything in her power to stop us from being together. I think you're here for the right reasons. I am. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm trying to figure out with everyone. Like, I know. With Christy and Joe, hard for with you. Every, I felt weird, and I'm glad you did it. I want to do whatever it takes to, you know, get your attention and spend time with you. Maybe Destiny coming up was the right time because I needed to clear my head about all of uh, Christy Joe's legal verification. Can I kiss? solo date, I'm done with her. They're not liking you. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Daisy? So I walk into the house, and I see Daisy, and 
I just tell her, mission accomplished. She was pissed, she didn't yeah, want to go. Was. I like the secret plan because then if Christy Jo's in a bad mood, then Brett will see that she's in a bad mood and she sucks and it's not fun to be around, and then he won't like her. I think you're up, girl. Give him all you've got. <laughs> work it, work it. When I'm with somebody and I'm in a relationship, I'm committed to that relationship. I get this feeling, if you were jealous or misread what I would be doing, I think that sometimes you would think out your own worst nightmare and then act on it. If you were to come to me and be like, oh, I never cheated on you, and I just knew in my heart, I'm not, here, here's number two. What do you mean? I wanted to use my past. I gave you the pass and I'll honor it, but I just want to make sure that it's not just a strategy to make her mad. Do you feel that right now you want to have a conversation with me? I think now is a long time. Okay. Because we got more to, we got a lot to talk about. We got to talk about life, music. There's a lot of stuff we're not going to accomplish okay. in 10 minutes. Okay, absolutely. You know what, then? Um, I just wanted to get to know him better. I wanted to maybe sit down and eat the wonderful or crappy dinner that Christy Joe cooked for him. But now I'm fearing that he's mad that I interrupted his date with Christy Joe, and that's the last thing that I want. It was a little, a little nerve-wracking because you know I, I did feel a little bad. I don't want to like disrespect him, you know. I'm just like so exhausted, and this house is just driving me. Oh, it's gonna get worse. Are you sure you want to go through much more? It's, it's overwhelming. I'm not going to lie to you. It is overwhelming. Can't you not worry about them and just worry about me and you connecting? I know, but it's when people are coming at you, it's a little different. If like, she thinks this is tough, imagine what it would be like if we were together backstage when all kinds of girls are going to be taking punches at her. I hope you got enough fight in you to want to stay here, because otherwise, if you go... Like, it, it's just not in me to fight like that. I won't. Gotcha. I'm not going to tear someone down and make myself feel better. You know, I'm attracted to Christy Joe. But I'll tell you this, I need her to toughen up a little bit or I'm gonna be sending her home. Sometimes it's it's the right place at the right time, but it, you know, maybe inevitably it's the wrong place at the wrong time. At this point, my heart's getting invested and I'm, I'm really trying to show them who I am and I just feel like I have the odds against me. I felt awful about turning Daisy away, so I'm gonna find her right now. Thank God she's still got that bikini on. So, like, I seriously felt kind of like an ass the whole thing about coming and interrupting You did. Me. I like that you came up, and I know when you came up to do it, you were coming up to say, hey, I'd like a chance to talk, too, because tonight's elimination. Like, I want you to know how I'm really, I was, like, dreaming about you, like, the last couple of nights, and it was so weird, but it was, like, soothing. Like, it was, like, right, wow, gotcha. that was cool. Like, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's like, looking at him, sometimes I just forget everything, and I just want to just stare in those eyes. Obviously, you're beautiful. You're a nice person, you're genuine, and that's important because a lot of these girls are like figuring stuff out. Yeah. They're like, if I do this, will that be better? Yeah, I don't want you to do that, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, I'm just like... Daisy is talking to me in her bikini and crying, and I have a true moment. And then I look at her boobs, and I'm like She looks hot. Back up to the crying, down to the breasts. Yeah, come on. Sad to see him go, but tonight I've got eliminations and I've got some serious thinking to do. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Are you nervous? Not too much because somehow the day is going to have to let me go. I think I'm going to have to feel it inside. Because yeah, I can sure. feel stuff so me too. strong me too. I that I will be able to tell. No, I think for eliminations. I'm not either. I'm really afraid I'm going to lose Christian. Going into elimination tonight, I think there's a possibility that Christy Joe might be going home. I really feel like that would be like a super duper ridiculously emotional moment for me. As beautiful as she is, I think that if Christy Joe doesn't get strong at this point, she's gonna be going down a big ball of flames. Coming up, last pass. Christy Joe is out the freaking door. As strange as this house may be. I have laid out all my cards. Everything's on the table. Am I going home? It's also great because I get to see everyone's true colors. That piece of get the hell out of here. Tori's here. I'm nervous going into elimination tonight because I had a date today with Brett and there's a lot of trauma that went on and I don't know where his head's at. I feel great about the elimination tonight because I get completely naked last night for Brett. I feel really connected to him. Christy Joe is full of crap. I hope that Brett can see through her. I'm sure he can. She definitely should go home. Hello, everybody. Hi. 
We all now truly understand the meaning of love hurts, correct? Come to LA, have a few laughs, a few drinks, stroller derby, good times, right? <laughs> Tonight elimination, two more girls are going home. And I'll tell you what, it's getting tougher and tougher as we narrow it down. Listen, I told all of you openly, I'm here to hopefully find someone. And as strange as this house may be, it's also great because I get to see everyone's true colors pretty quickly. In my life, I've always known if you want something, you gotta fight for it, you gotta go after it. I am looking for the girls that I feel in my gut have fire and want to be there. This girl has made a true effort. I would like her to come down immediately tonight. She made a super effort to get to know me and truly used her VIP pass properly. Destiny, would you come down here, please? Beautiful, hot, sexy girl <laughs> with determination. <laughs> would you stay here in this house and rock my world? For sure, Brett. Thank you very much. Thank you. This next girl made a true effort to walk out and talk to me and was also very classy and cool when I told her that this was not the right time or the right place to have this conversation. So Daisy, would you come down here, please? Would you stay in here and rock my world? Absolutely. I really, really am starting to just fall head over heels. When the first two were to the girls who had VIP passes, Daisy and Destiny, I realized that I probably should have been more aggressive and used my VIP pass. This next girl, I had such an awesome time last night with her. Ina, would you stay in this house and continue to rock my world? Awesome. I'm learning more and more with each day, a little bit about this girl. A few things, though, I, I need to find out about this person in their life, where they're at, where they want to go, where they want to be, where they see themselves. But I had a great time with them last night, and they really brought it out and did a very, very sexy dance. So, Aubrey, would you come down here, please? I can't believe she got that pass. What the f What is he doing? I dance for Brett, too. Peyton, would you come down here, please? Would you continue to rock my world? Absolutely. There you go. Catherine, would you come down here, please? Passes are being handed out. I'm nervous, I'm scared, I'm confused. If I do get sent home tonight, I would be really sad about it. Would you stay here in this house and continue to rock my world? I want nothing more. Awesome. Amber, would you please come back? Megan, would you come down here, please? We get down to getting to know each other a little bit more and more, and each week goes along. It makes it really tough for me. I have laid out all my cards. Everything's on the table. He knows what he's getting with me. All of my issues, all my baggage, I'm just terrified. He wants to send me home tonight. Jessica, if you come down here, please. Will you continue to stay in this house and rock my world? You bet. Awesome. I figured my pass would be towards the bottom, but he hasn't said my name yet, and I'm starting to freak out. John, last pass. He's no way I'm not getting that pass. It's mine. It's for me. Ladies, there are three of you, and I got one pass left. Oh my god, this is serious. I think I'm going home tonight, and I'm not ready to go. Say, Brett, he has only one pass left, and I know he's gonna to give it to me. He's no way I'm not getting that pass, it's mine. I haven't gotten my pass, and I am absolutely terrified that I might be going home. If I don't get a pass tonight, I will just be completely devastated. I would love it if Christy Joe went home. That piece of get the hell out of here. Last pass. I have made it very public in this house about this next girl. I have a very physical attraction to her. Still got to think you over a little bit. Christy Joe, would you come down here, please? <laughs> would you continue to stay in this house, talk, see if we can work things out, and rock my world? Absolutely. Awesome. Could Christy Joe please just go home already? This girl is just an emotional trip, and it's not one that I want to be on. Roxy, could you come down here, please? I'm sorry. When I gave you the VIP pass, 
the effort to come to meet me. The other girls used them up like five times, even to the point where I'm like, you can't use them, and, and you didn't use it. It's such a short time that we get to spend in this house. Just kick the back door next time, you know what I mean? Because I think you're beautiful, all right? I mean that, but the Torian's here, okay? If I had known it was that important, I would have definitely, definitely made more of an effort to use my VIP pass. I'm a damn good woman. <laughs> I'm sorry he didn't get to see that. I think to a certain extent he is missing out, but there is just someone else for me. Angelique, would you come down here, please? You are a rock star. <laughs> Seriously, you're fun, and you're exciting, and you got a smoking hot body, and you look great last night, and I had fun, but you're a free spirit, and I've been down this road with someone who I liked a lot just not too long ago. I know. So the Torrens here. Yes. All right, thank you. I took my chance, you know, I have nothing to lose. But the only thing I regret is we didn't have more time to get to know each other. I did my best in a very short time. I gave him everything I could. All right, everybody, come on down. I still feel like I have to prove stuff to Brett, but I think if we can move past it, it could be really great. I feel like I'm gonna always be on the defense now because of the girls turning against me. Cheers, here we go, let's rock. The tension is very high in the house. None of us like Christy Joe, and we all want that bitch out of here. Next time. We're gonna have you guys build a custom choppers. Give me a tour. I need, I, need, I, need, I, need, I need one of these. I need one of these. I want this date so bad. I became frantic and frenzied. Pull it out and start again. I want to contribute. I just didn't know what the Phillips was or something. I'm looking for the fuel line. Is that what I'm looking for? I've been conflicted all day. Do I walk away? I think she's bipolar. You should go talk to him. All of this is just too much for me. I'd like to know how you really feel about me. I have no connection to you. I'm really hurting because I'm feeling insignificant. You walked right around me. Aubrey starts going at me as if we'd been in a naggingly long relationship. Don't keep me here a and moment longer. Today has been an emotional, disastrous roller coaster for me, and I can guarantee you one thing, this is gonna get worse. I don't feel my head. Oh, and that fell on my teeth. I got a big mouth, I guess. No fear. No, absolutely no fear. Trust me, I've no fallen all the ways you can fall. It's okay. No question. I fell on my teeth. Does it explain you got his teeth? No, you don't talk with it. Look, you, you, you don't talk with it. I'm going out there. I'm big.